hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to do something amazing so you can see here i have type of cuisine and food let's see what is this the drop down menu there is indian and chinese if i click indian i get list of foods of indian cuisine and if i click chinese i get list of foods of chinese cuisine let's see how to create something like this so i have this data here the first thing to do with this data is to convert it into a table by creating a table, you can include as many data as you want in the future. So let's create a table here. You will create individual tables for each of them. Go to insert table. My table has headers. And the table is created. We will change the name of this table as well. We'll give it as headers. Now the next one, repeat the same thing. And we will give it the name Chinese. Now we will go to that cell where you want to give data validation. Go data, data validation list. In here, for the first cell, we click, we will select only the headers. You can see the headers are here. In the second cell, go to data validation, give list, and we will give a formula here equals indirect e4. By giving this formula, we get all the data related to the first cell. Click OK. Shows an error. We should click OK. Now, select Indian here. We get all the Indian foods. Select Chinese. We get all the Chinese food. Yeah, let's try adding some new data here. Chicken tikka. And go for chow mein. Now, let's see. You can see here. The new data is also updated here automatically. This is the advantage of creating a table, converting this into table, so you can add as many row as you want in the future. That's it for the video, guys. I will put a link to this file. I will link this file in the description for you, so you can try this thing out by yourself too. So let's meet in the next video. Bye.